imagine a city uh, where most of the storefronts are fake. Where uh, you go to buy bread in the morning, you pull a doorknob and it falls off. Turns out uh, they just wanted to test if, uh, you, if, if there was a bakery here, would you be likely to buy some bread? Well, my question is, would you be likely to buy a flat in that town? Uh, so, since this is Abe, I'll show you, I'll talk about some examples. Mm, last year there were some presentations that got me thinking. Uh, they involved uh, tools for making sure that you're build, building the right project, product. So, uh, one example was about, uh, involved um, randomly selecting uh, sellers on a shopping platform and um, marking them as reply to replies to mails rapidly just to see if such a feature uh, would boost sales. Another example talked about inviting users um, to a chat, group chat where there's 16 users already from four different countries, but this chat didn't exist. Um, so fake features or uh, prototyping or dry testing, whatever, uh, these are concepts that are big not only in our com community. Um, companies want to uh, lower risk and um, they assume that lower risk means uh, more money and uh, these techniques are thought to be fast and frugal and a good way to lower risk. Um, but um, nothing in the world is for free. And uh, somebody is paying for this. Right now, the users are paying. Uh, they're paying with uh, valuable resources that they don't quite realize they are losing. They're paying with their time. They're paying with uh, personal data. Um, but in the long run, I think um, we, the creators of the internet, will also end up paying. We're losing something very important. We're losing trust. We're ending up creating a ghost town where nothing seems real. Um, we will end up as uh, the boy who cried wolf operating in a space where it's safest to assume that we don't exist, we don't have anything to offer, and we won't deliver on our promises. Thanks.